Hi, uh, I just spoke to one of the other officers there. My name is Dennis Fagan. I'm a retired detective in New York City. I run the security for World Wrestling, and one of our wrestlers that lives down there is missing, and he told me to just to say we need a welfare check done. Okay, what's the address? Uh, 130 Green Meadow Lane. The zip code is 30215. All right, Dennis, what's your last name? Fagan, F-A-G-A-N. And what's his name? Uh, Chris Benoit. It's spelled B-E-N-O-I-T. Okay, and he's a, a wrestler? Yes, he's, what, what happened, he's a very religious gentleman, and yesterday he was supposed to show up at a pay-per-view and never got on the plane, never showed up. They tried to reach his wife, Nancy. She doesn't answer. They tried to call his house. It's, unlo it's, it's out of character for him. So at uh, 3 o'clock this morning, there was a message left for one of the other wrestlers, and basically it says, uh, uh, the dogs are in the backyard, the back door is open, goodbye. And that was it. Dogs in the yard? Yes, and the back door is open. He didn't say anything else, and that, that was it. Door. That message was left at 3 o'clock this morning for another wrestler. Okay, um, <clears throat> that's 130 Green Meadow Lane. Yes. Okay, and um, what is, um, what's the phone number for you? Uh, my cell is 646-739-1992. Okay, what does he look like? Chris is about 6'1", very muscular, uh, very stocky, has a, a very wide neck, looks like a wrestler. Okay. White male, black male? Yes, male, male white. White male. Okay. Oh, he's got uh, short black hair. Okay. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and send somebody um, out there to check on it. If you want to call us back in like 45 minutes or so, um, okay. if they yeah, seven 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 zero four six one four six one four three five seven. Yeah, and um, if if he's there, we'll tell him to give you a call. But uh, okay. if you want to call back and check to see if we, you know, if anybody was there or anything, just just call us back in about okay. 30, 45 minutes. Uh, it, anybody can talk to you. It doesn't okay. matter. Great. They're probably you. they're going to ask you for the address again, but that's about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very uh -huh. much. Bye. Bye. Hi, you reached Dennis Fagan. Leave your name and number, and I will get right back to you. Thank you. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Mr. Fagan, this is the Fagan County Sheriff's Dispatch. I do have a couple of deputies out at uh, Mr. Benoit's residence, but the gate is locked and there are two pretty aggressive canines, or aggressive German Shepherds out there that are, uh, excuse me, our deputies are unable to get in. If you happen to have a gate code or anything for him, if you could give me a call back at 770-461-4357, 770-461. 461-4357. Thank you very much. Mr. Fagg. Yes. Hey, this is with Sheriff's Farm Dispatch. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. Did you get my message or did you just... Uh, no, I know. I just called the number back. Okay. Very good. Um, I do have a couple, of de a couple of deputies out at Mr. Benoit's house. Okay. But the gate is locked and they're unable to get inside. The gate is locked. Yeah, you wouldn't happen to have a code for that, would you? Uh, no, I don't. And uh, the message that we got, uh, like I said, left a message at 3 o'clock in the morning for another wrestler. Right. The gate's open, the dogs are in the backyard by the pool, and the back door's open. Huh. That was it. Right, right. Yeah, cause apparently the, that's why they're worried about him because Chris is very, uh, very, the point against Chris, he's very religious. Right, right. It's unlike him. He didn't show up for a pay-per-view. Yeah. Uh, he never made it to the plane. Uh, they can't reach his wife. So now <laughs> nobody's answering the home phone. Nobody's right. answering the cell phone. Yeah, and I think as far as... I'm not sure how far away from the road the house is, so I'm not sure if they're able to if they're able to tell if anybody's there. Oh, but uh, okay. they, like I said, the gate is the gate. It's got a, a call box. Apparently, nobody's answering that. Okay. And then the dog the dogs are actually out in the front, so, and they're All right, okay. yeah, and they're pretty. According to my uh, according to my deputy, they're pretty aggressive as well. So okay, but they're not friendly, as she put it. Oh, but, okay. Uh, so yeah, you don't happen to know anybody that would know that gate code offhand, would it? Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and make some phone calls. Maybe okay. one of, uh, maybe he did leave it for somebody, and I'll, I will get back to you. Okay, and uh, probably what I'll do is just have my uh, I'll have my guys go ahead and leave from where they are, and 
soon as you find that information out, then just give us a call back. We'll send somebody back down there. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you, it. sir. Bye. Bye-bye. Mr. Fagan? Yes, sir. Okay. Were you able to get a gate code or anything like that? Yeah, no, no, but what happened was uh, they they just called back. They said that there's only one neighbor to the left right there who is very friendly with them. Okay. They don't know if they might have the gate code, but uh, they, now they're saying that there was two text messages, and they were both at like 3.34 o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. one from his phone and one from his wife Nancy's phone. Okay. And they went to the same wrestler who doesn't even live anywhere near them right. and basically said, this is the house number, the dogs are in the backyard, the patio doors unlocked, and that was it. Mm. So that's what they're worried about. Uh, and yeah. it's unlike, like I said, it's under, out of character for Chris to, to do anything like this. Right. He's missed uh, two shows, one on Saturday and pay per view on Sunday. And uh, so they're saying the only the only thing they know is that uh, one of the wrestlers called back and said he's always, always talking about his neighbor next door to the left, who is, uh, uh, I guess, good friends with him. Right. But I told okay. them about the dogs, and they were saying, you know, they don't know. Uh, the gentleman I'm dealing with at World, at World Wrestling is a retired judge from up here in New York. Okay. Uh, nobody really, you know, uh, has a gate code, they're saying, but uh, the thing is, I don't know what you what you guys would do is if you thought something was wrong in the house, right. you'd have to, like, pay for the dogs to put them to sleep. So uh, well, n basically, we just need somebody to contain them. That, I think that would be right. the, uh, the main thing. Right. Now, that, right. that neighbor that's friendly with him, do you think they would be able possibly to contain those? Uh, that, well, that's what that, that's what the other uh, this Shavro is the name of the other wrestler. Uh, that's what he's saying. He's saying that Chris is always saying how friendly he is with his next door neighbor, but it's to the the house to the left. House to the left. Yes, and, uh, and we don't know like the said, they all seem to be very worried because you know they get these messages at three thirty yeah, o'clock in the yeah. morning. Yeah, you know, and they said when they spoke to him the other day, he seemed depressed and he said something about food poisoning. Huh. And they, like I said, they get the same messages. Nobody's answering the cell phones. Nobody's answering the house phones. Right. That's definitely suspicious. Uh, okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and have uh, I'll have a deputy swing down and see if they can make contact with the neighbors. Okay. And see what uh, see what we see where we can go from there. Okay. Thank All you. Right. You'll let me know. Thank no, you. Sir. Yes. No problem. Bye. Bye. -bye. 